So my name is Gary Glazer, and I am the founder and executive director of the Alzheimer's Poetry Project. And a few years ago, we started to bring in students to work with uh, people living with memory loss. The core of it, though, is students that have participated in Poetry Out Loud. And so that brings me here today to get to work with you. So I'm super excited to be here today. My name's Avery Bailey. Um, I'm a senior here at Judge Memorial and I was the student lead for the Poetry for Life uh, field trip that a few judge students went to do. We just got the chance to go to uh, St. Joseph's uh, Care Center and had the chance to read poetry, say it together with patients who suffer from Alzheimer's. As the time went on, everyone started breaking down their shell and then a few of the patients actually had some lucid moments and they uh, read or they recited an entire poem that they had memorized years ago, which was really exciting to see. The foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and a chance to draw by the touch of the master's hand. My name is Rebecca Keg, and I go to Judge Memorial Catholic High School. Going to St. Joseph's Villa and performing to the folks there was one of like the best experiences I've had. I noticed out in the audience that some of them were like nodding in approval. Some were just close their eyes and kind of like absorb the words I was saying. And like at that moment, I felt like I was doing something right. What I got out of serving, uh, well, reciting my poetry to the folks there was, I guess I kind of gained a new confidence. The judge students that I invited with me had a greater understanding of like what we were doing and then, you know, kind of had that warm fuzzy feeling that you get when you help people. They're kind of just gave me this new light that like I really do really enjoy poetry and that like this is something I want to continue after even if like I'm 50 and <laughs> I just really enjoyed it and I feel like I can go and perform my poems with like a new sense of appreciation.